This is Damon Stevens with FinWealth Builders. Today is November 7th, 2021, and this is a stock market planning meeting for this week. So here's the stocks we're looking at as we get into this new week. So um, definitely some things to keep an eye on as we're reaching new highs in uh, many of our indexes as well as stocks. Uh, and so uh, as we're heading into this end of the year, uh, let's take a look and see what we can possibly expect. So looking at the closeout on Friday, you can see that the Dow Jones was up 0.56%, NASDAQ up 0.2%, and S&P 500 up 0.37%. Overall, our FANG stocks were kind of mixed as far as, you know, mostly flat. Well, Amazon, uh, you know, had a good, nice rally. Facebook was strong as well. So, um, so those were kind of the leaders. You know, overall, you can see kind of a mixed bag, um, for, you know, on the financial side. Uh, Visa was uh, doing really well as well as far as and as well as um, MasterCard. So, definitely a couple of stocks to take a look at. Uh, looking at the uh, heat map over here as well as far as China, you can see China's red. So, you know, do we get a pullback on Monday a little bit? You know, that's a possibility. You know, overall it's pretty well mixed, but uh, China's coming to red here, which means you know we could possibly see a little bit of a pullback, possibly starting out the week. But we will um, see because right now we're in a very bullish market and things continue to to uh, do well. Uh, looking at our overall scanner, um, I did not catch any of these scans, uh, any of the uh, stocks here that were trading on Friday, but uh, there was a few of them here. KDNY did well and Big C did well as well. So hopefully you're able to catch some of that. Uh, looking at the earnings coming up this week, this is what we're looking at. So we're looking at, I'm looking at PayPal for Monday at close. AMC and Roblox and Lemonade. I think, uh, you know, we're definitely going to have some good trades in those areas Tuesday too, probably our strongest day. Neo, Palantir, Coinbase, Fubo, um, Power Plug, Plug, Plug Power, Win. So, uh, and then on Wednesday, SoFi, Wish, Affirm, uh, it's the area of focus. And then Thursday, you know, kind of, kind of flattens out during the week. So really, you know, end of day Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday is really the days I'm looking for for strong earnings this week. Um, IONQ from last week, so this multi-day trade. See here that we're continuing to rally up here from Friday, uh, low of 19, uh, 18.12 here. Um, we closed out uh, just around 19.37. Uh, and then after hours, you can see here it's almost at 20. So looking for a breakout play on Monday. Uh, so we'll just see if that happens. Um, but you see here we're above the 20, looking for a breakout to uh, to new highs, possibly you know 22 um, or higher. So we'll see. Um, so be prepared for that if you're looking for uh, a stock to trade. Airbnb had a huge gap up on Friday uh, after earnings, so Airbnb just rocked it. Um, do we have a retracement? Uh, possibly down in 192. Uh, area is what I'm looking for as far as a pullback possibly. If we can break uh, above this 20162, looking for a continuation play up towards 212. So that's definitely on our short list on Monday. Uh, Facebook um, gapped up as well on Friday uh, and actually went up towards uh, this uh, this high here of uh, 346 and then kind of pulled all the way back. So it's great that it's above the 150. So we like that. Uh, if it breaks back down, it could go back and just fail and close this back this gap uh, on Monday. Uh, but if it can continue to rally back up here, we're looking for continuation back up to the resistance area of 346, 347 area. See if we can break out towards the old highs. Tesla, kind of flat, kind of a little bit weak here. So I'm seeing some weakness here between you know, Thursday and Friday last week, seeing if we, there may be a pullback possibly down to our trend line of 1160. Uh, so looking at a possible pullback here and then a bounce off that. And we'll see where it goes from there, whether it can pop back up towards resistance uh, or kind of consolidates. So looking for, you know, what this week's going to bring. Could actually be flat up here, but not quite sure what we're going to do. So we'll see what happens with price action. Uh, NVIDIA. NVIDIA had a nice huge pop and rally on Thursday. Pull back a little bit on Friday. Try to rally back up past this resistance area around 313.66 area. Pull back. Found support 
here uh, where um, the stock closed out on Thursday as well. So seeing if it can get some energy to pop back up, if it finds weakness, it may retrace this candle a bit more, maybe down to 284, 285 area. Uh, if it does get really weak, it's gonna come back here, possibly down the bottom of this, uh, this breakup candle, which you know is just common to happen. So we're going to see if we can break back above 298, if we can, looking for rally back up to 313, if we break below 297, looking for a breakdown possibly to, you know, 285 or lower. Calyx, so Calyx has been a nice, strong, bullish trend at resistance here, uh, just uh, below, you know, 418, looking for it to break out and to continue, have a continuation up to 430 is the next breakout level to reach. Uh, if we do find weakness here, you know, we're, you can see we're above the, the upper trend line. So it could be possible that we could retrace back down here to this 402, 403 area. So looking at that's a possibility as well, based on this hyper extension here, as far as this rally we've had. AVGO, same thing. We had a huge rally up. Looking, you know, can we break, you know, 565 or do we come back here and retrace back possibly down to the 549, 550 area? Uh, before bouncing off. So looking for AVGO for a continuation play or a possible pullback a little bit after this uh, this run. Uh, looking at, uh, you know, overall tracking stocks we track on a daily basis. So the bonds you can see here, we're kind of flat above 50, above the 100, actually below the 50. Uh, so looking, that's good for the overall market. Uh, the VIX kind of elevated a little bit. Back up here towards this, 20 moving average and then pull back a little bit it's just under there uh you know based on seeing that just be real careful i'm looking for the vix possibly try to pull back up there uh, over 18 if it does then we can see a pull back in the marketplace which you know in typically in november um towards mid to end of november you see a pullback and then a rally uh next month so we'll see what happens with it but uh, that's what we've seen in the past uh, looking at uh the SPY here, the SPY is right under this trend line. You see here, we touched base several times in the past and we're right there now. So it's easy to see that we could possibly have a bounce down or a gap up, but um, looking at possibly a pullback here a little bit, uh, possibly down, you know, possibly down to this 460 level. So looking to see what the, it's gonna happen on Monday. You see triple Qs, we got above that trend line as well. Looking for a possible pullback as well on the triple Qs. Uh, semiconductors kind of flatten out. You got this doji right here, looking at a possible retracement here at some point around 290 area. But you know, right now, you know, we got to break above this 300 if we want to continue rallying back up. So we're kind of right in the middle. So we'll be watching that carefully on this week to see kind of which way triple keys are going. Um, and then looking at IWM, IWM is kind of in this channel as well, resistance up here around 243. Uh, but uh, looking very strong, but also very extended. So it's very likely we could have a little pullback here, maybe to 240 or maybe even 238. But so far, looking pretty bullish on IWM, now Russell. So um, Dow Jones, Dow Jones, we're kind of come up here, we got above resistance here, but kind of in this channel, you know, so we're looking at some strength for Dow Jones to see if he can break through that resistance around 364, 365 and rally back uh, higher to maybe 370 or above 370, uh, four. So we'll see what happens there. Just be careful on that one, but uh, looking good, still bullish. Financials flat, but above the 20s. So that's good. Um, gold had a nice like rally up. Got back above 1800, which is what we've been waiting for. Uh, and it held, which it had not done before. So gold's looking a little bit better here. So as long as we can hold above that 1800, uh, next level is around you know, 1830. Uh, and the, this uh, high here of 1834, if we can rally above that, then we can continue to continuation up to 1850. Uh, silver tried to rally up as well. It's above the, the 100 now. And holding, which had failed before. So it's heading up towards that uh, 200 moving average around 2446 right now. And so we're going to look to see if we have a continuation play up north. So silver's looking better. Bitcoin also rallying back up. 
It's at the same level here right now, around 66,000. If they can hold there, uh, we're kind of at this level of a breakout. So if we can get above 67,000, we can for continuation play to 70,000. Ethereum broke through the upper trend line here. You can see it's held. Uh, so looking for a rally, you know, up towards 5,000 is would be the range. 4,800 is a mid, uh, you know, is a, the next term. But Ethereum continue looking strong as well. Uh, Shiba continue to pull back. It's sitting here on the 20 right now. If we can hold the 20, could possibly bounce off there. If not, we're going to continue to see that weakness down, you know, towards probably getting towards the uh, the 50 here. As you can see, we've had two breakdowns now. We're sitting right on support right now. So we've got to rally off this if you want to see some strength in Shiba. That's our market. That's what we're looking for on Monday. A lot of, lot of action going on right now in the marketplace. A lot of earnings still coming out. Um, and so looking at for some continuation plays on those. And hopefully you have a good week. So stay safe out there on Monday and uh, happy trading.